Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off episode 6 of the 120 days to jump mathematics with Flash Isaac. We are still solving questions under number and numeration, number basis, fractions, decimals, approximation, and percentage. Today's question says, if 314 base 10, that is 314, minus 256 base 7 is equal to 340 base S, find S. 314 base 10, minus 256. This B7 is equals 340 this S. When you see questions like this, what comes to your mind? Or what do you think you should do? Should you just say, okay, 314 minus 256? Then what do you feel you should do? I don't know. What might be running through your mind right now? But when you come across questions like this in different bases, don't solve or do anything directly. If I say 314 minus 300, you are only allowed to say that this is equals 14 because they are both in the same base. Or because no different base is specified. A situation where this is 4, base 4, and this is base 10, or any other base, you cannot subtract, add, divide, or multiply. For this to happen, for you to add, divide, or multiply numbers, they must be in the same base. That is number system for you, which implies that before we begin operations on these numbers, we need to convert all of them to the same base. And the easiest base to work with is the base 10. We are already used to base 10. Our normal counting system is in base 10. We therefore convert every other, all the numbers to base 10 so that they will be in the same base. 314. Is already in base 10, so we need not bother. We simply say this is already in base 10, just forget about it. Now, how do we convert 256 base 7 to base 10? Like I've taught you so far, you simply say 0, 1, 2. Then 2 times the base, 2 times 7 raised to the power of. 2 plus 5 times the base raised to the power of the power 1 plus 6 times the base raised to the power of 0. This is converting 256 base 7 to base 10. This will simply give you 7 squared is 49. So 2 times 49 plus 5 times 7 raised to the power of 1, 7, 5 times 7, plus 6 times 1, 
7 raised to the power of 0 is 1. Besides, any meaningful number raised to the power of 0 will give you 1. From here, 49 times 2. 49, 49. 49 times 2 is the same thing as 49 plus 49. It means 49 into 2 places. 9 plus 9, 18, carry 1. 4 plus 4, 8 plus 1, 9. This is 98. Plus 5 times 7 is the same thing as 7 times 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 5 times 7 is 35. 35 plus 6. In both maths, you deal with multiplication first before considering addition. If you're adding this, 98 plus 35, 8 plus 5, that is 13. Put down 3, carry 1. 9 plus 3, 12. Plus 1, 13. So 1, 3, 3. Plus 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. So 1, 3, 9. This is equals 1, 3, 9, base 10. Next, let's convert base S to base 10. Still the same step. 0 here, 1, 2. 3, one of the first number times the base times S raised to the power of 2. Plus the second number times the base raised to the power of 1. Plus the third number, 0 times the base raised to the power of 0. Now this is S raised to the power of 2 is S squared. 3 times S squared, that is 3 S squared. Plus S raised to the power of 1 is S 4 times S is 4S. 0 times 1. S raised to the power of 0 is 1. 0 times 1 is 0. So which means 3, 4, 0 base S is equals 3S squared plus 4S base 10. Now that we have everything in base 10, what next? Let's combine them to have 3, 1, 4 base 10. Minus 139 base 10 is equals. This is 3s squared plus 4s base 10. Since they are all in the same basis or they are all in base 10, you can remove the 10 to show that you are solving in the natural base. From here, 314 minus 139 is simply. 175 and this is equals 3s plus 4s rearranging this is 3s plus 4s minus 175 is equals 0 why did i do like that you have s squared you have s descending power or decreasing power and the highest power is 2 this is simply a quadratic a equation to solve quadratic equation you need to put it in the standard form this is a quadratic equation descending power very soon we will get to an episode or the part where we need to solve quadratic equations in that case we will go very deep into solving quadratic equations for now let me explain you sharp sharp when you have quadratic equation, you can solve in different ways. Factorization, formula, or graphical method. If you have to factorize this, it needs to be in the standard form. The standard form is 3s squared plus 4s minus 175 equals 0. Then you look for a number that when you add, you get 4s. And when you multiply, you get 525 because 3 times 125 is 525. Let us factorize. How do we do that? You look at, at the coefficient of this s squared and the last number. That is 3 and minus 175. If you multiply them, 3 times minus 175, you get minus 525. Then the middle here you have 
plus 4s, which is 4. We look for two numbers that when we add, we'll get 4s plus 4s. When we multiply, we get minus 525. If you think very well, the numbers are minus 21 and 25. If we add minus 21 plus 25 is 4. Minus 21 times 25 is five minus 525. So that will work for us. We replace it here. 3 s squared minus 21 s plus 25 s minus 175 is equals 0. Join the two together. What is common between this and this is 3s. So 3s. 3s squared divided by 3s, that is s. Minus 21s divided by 3s, that is minus 7. Plus 25 is common between these two. 25. 25s divided by 25, that is s. Minus 175 minus 175 divided by 25 is minus 7 is equal to 0. So from here, s minus 7 and s minus 7 are common, which is s minus 7, 3s plus 25 is equal to 0. s is therefore equal to 7 or 3s is equal to minus 25. And S is equals minus 25 over 3. These are the values. If you see a quadratic question, uh, equation question where it is very difficult for you to look for the two numbers to add or two numbers to multiply, you therefore go ahead with formula method. That one is very, very sure. And learn how to solve fast using the formula method. So let's look at it. We have a negative value minus 25 over 3 and we have a positive value 7 the question says find the value of s we know that s cannot be negative it cannot be negative base s is therefore positive let's go with base 7 which means everything is equals 7 base 7 so 340 base 7 that is the value of s option a is the correct option I hope you found this helpful. See you in the next episode.